Hi, I'm Jeff Rubenstein from the PlayStation blog. Here at San Diego Comic-Con 2012, along with the star of Beyond Two Souls, Ellen Page, and the writer-director of Beyond from Quantic Dream, David Cage. How you doing? Good. Great. So, panel today, and I kind of had an idea of what was going to happen. I thought um, we'd see a lot of David talking about how great it was to work with Hollywood talent like yourself, Kadeem Hardison, and how much that brought to the game. And what stood out to me is you and Kadeem talking so much about what a great experience this has been working with David and, and working in Paris. So, did this really blow away what you expected to be a, a video game experience to be? Absolutely. I mean, to be honest, I don't think I knew what the video game experience was going to be. You know, when the opportunity first popped up, I didn't really know how to wrap my head around it. But I was intrigued, of course. But then when I sat down with David and, you know, heard about the story that he was telling and, and, and played Heavy Rain and, and, and the, the work that he was doing and his vision and this character he was creating and this like, incredible, profound, emotional, uh, subversive journey that she goes on. It was so exciting and so intriguing. So, you know, my expectations uh, of it were already high and they were completely exceeded. And it was very challenging, but in, 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 in incredibly fulfilling as an actor. Really amazing experience. I was hearing other interviews and you were talking about playing, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog and <laughs> the NHL games on Sega. Mm -hmm. uh, but when, until you read the script, until you played Heavy Rain, did you have any idea that video games could tackle like mature subjects or like life after death? No, not at all. I mean, I, you know, I hadn't played video games really since the first PlayStation. That was sort of where my video game um, relationship to video games ended. You might have been a little busy, you know, in that time. Yeah, life was, I moved out, I was going to school, working, so it was, there wasn't really, I consciously was like, do not take this with you, you know? And now when I would see, be at a friend's house or have friends that were gamers, I, um, you know, was blown away by how far graphics had come, but not intrigued by... Um, necessarily shooting or, or the violence and 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 um, you know if people are into those games great it just isn't something that really necessarily excites me and um, and and then when you know David was kind of explaining what he does and how he's incorporating these like cinematic narratives with this you know the interactive medium of video games and what he did with heavy rain and um, I, I was just completely enthralled and, and excited about this idea and quite frankly really grateful to be involved this early in the two sort of coming together. So can we back up a little bit and talk about how you first got involved with the project? Uh, you this, this role was written for you. Have you ever starred in a role that was from pretty much the very beginning aimed for you to be the star? Um, no, I don't think so, no. <laughs> Uh, so, was there was there a plan B when when you two met? I, I'd have to imagine there was a ton of pressure. You talked during the panel about uh, meeting up in a you know in, in some bar by the by the side of the highway somewhere in Southern California. And I mean, what were you feeling, David, when when Ellen walked in and, and you had said that? I mean, you felt that was Jody Holmes walking in. It's a good thing she she did enjoy it. Yeah, it's a very unique experience as a writer when you you happen to meet <laughs> one of your characters. So it was really something something strong and something unique. So I was so so glad and uh, so relieved when she accepted to be on board, because otherwise I don't know what else I would have done. <laughs> so. <laughs> so you've really taken. I, I'm a, I'm a huge fan personally of Indigo Prophecy and Heavy Rain, and you've really taken storytelling to a, a place that it, it hasn't happened. Uh, otherwise in, in really in the medium uh, and you did this with a cast of unknowns so now you've got A-list actress here and uh, and Kadeem Hardison who we know um, what does that do what does that enable you to do in taking storytelling further in video games well what I tried to do was to trigger emotions uh, with the players so uh, I use story to do that but but the real vehicle for emotion it's it's actors so when you have actors of this talent, I mean, it makes everything easier because suddenly you you feel, you share, you you feel the empathy for these characters very quickly, and you you feel on board, and you start to share how she feels and how she thinks, and you start to like her and just to be on board with the experience. So that that's that's a huge difference. But I, I was very fortunate in my career. I started working with uh, David Bowie, and I, I I learned a lot doing this, and and I met many, many um, different uh, talented actors. I worked with kids, I worked with uh, older people, I worked with um, amateur 
actors and I work now with with Ellen but uh, but Ellen's been beyond amazing <laughs> I see what you did there. and and she's she's done incredible work on stage I mean she she really surprised me um, also beyond my expectations so so let's let's talk about the the filming process um, you know we saw some video uh, you you've got a uh, mocap suit on you've got dots all over you all over your face um, you're in a room that is is largely bare I mean, how challenging was this for you as an actress to, to have to make something from nothing? <laughs> really challenging. And, you know, I think what's challenging is going and, and just doing something, yeah, completely foreign, where you feel kind of um, naked, literally and, and figuratively, like, you know, and, uh, and your surroundings are as well. And everything is just kind of pure imagination and on top of that the amount of material we do every day is, is a lot and it's a lot to get in your brain and you know you're shooting scenes no matter what the emotional uh, intensity of it might be you have multiple responses in, in relation to what the gamer is is choosing and multiple in, you know intentions and as an actor this was all new and required so much uh, quick transition and and not a lot of time to do it, but that challenge was what made it so exciting and so compelling. And and you sort of had no option but to just jump in and do it. And um, uh, but I was so fortunate. The actors I work with were incredible, and and David is an incredible director. You know, incredible at describing the world and creating it and helping guide you through this kind of epic story that he's telling um, and on an emotional level getting you to that place really quickly because the game is really emotional and what Jody goes through is intense and it's a lot and um, so but that you know it's been nothing but an incredible experience as an actor like it's there can't be anything more really like pure and raw or closer to what it is about my job that I love really actually so so how did you feel when you first saw yourself rendered out there on, on like, as Jodie Holmes? Um, well, I, uh, I avoided it for a while. I was like, oh, maybe it will throw me off, and I don't really want to, you know, because I was just there to do what my job was, and that's what I wanted to focus on. But then on the last day of filming, David took me in into the a area, you know, where hundreds of people are doing incredible work and creating this game. And to be honest, I just sort of, like, forgot that it was even me because I was so moved by what they were creating and I was so moved by the technology and just how incredible it worked it blew it blew my mind I mean it was it was an amazing thing to to witness and um you know because the reality is is like he works on this for you I don't know when this man sleeps and all you know hundreds of people work on this game for years you know I just sort of I'm really a, actually a small part in it, you know, so it's easy for me to sort of like get over myself. And Let's not downplay it too much. This has been like a 10 month shoot so far and you, uh, there's still more to go, correct? It's about 10 months of shooting with about 160 actors. So oh. it's it's very long shooting session, yeah, a lot of work. So th this is gonna be very different than what you've done in the past when it comes to the final product. I mean, when the, you know, movie cuts and prints, I mean, that's that's where it is, it's locked in for, you know, all of eternity, unless George Lucas comes in and draws stuff in later. Um, but people were in control of Jody. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel that, you know, you're there, but you're not fully in control of what's going to be out on the screen for everyone? People are going to get different pieces of you. Yeah, of it's funny. It's unusual because it's always a little bit like that as an actor. It's like I'm not in an editing room at the end of the day, too, you know. Um, but yeah, this does take it to a unique level. And it's interesting that you know, you do a lot of work in, 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 and it could go in any direction depending on these choices that are made and people just don't see all of it. That's what's interesting. It's like, oh, certain, p a lot of this just isn't seen by people and then other things are. And I, I don't actually know how to wrap my head around the idea of her being controlled, you know? It's hard for me to think about. I don't know if I've really thought about it that much because I just go and connect to this person and do my job. I don't necessarily think of the sort of the aftermath of it. Yeah, I mean, is there anything, uh, I was talking with Kadeem Hardison earlier and I was like, what, how do you want people to play the game? And he's like, I just want them to keep me alive. <laughs> is, is there like particular things, obviously we can't get into storyline details, but uh, you know, are you hoping that they will, as you're doing the different Options, different scenarios, like, oh, I hope they choose this one. I hope this is what gets out there and when, when people experience the game. Oh, when I'm, as in when I'm acting it in that experience? Yeah. No, I think it's actually 
all very intriguing and in, in, in the story that David is telling and in, in, in the scope of it um, and the magnitude of it is, is, is pretty incredible. I think um, I think whatever one chooses is, is going to to hopefully be you know fulfilling and interesting for them. Well, one of the challenges was not to write one good story and, and, and 20 bad stories. Depending on the choices you make, you'll get the good one or the bad one. So uh, I try to make sure that whatever path you choose within this, this story, you will have you will have a good story that is consistent with who Jody is. And but you will have the opportunity to make the story yours. It's going to be your experience, your decisions, your choices, your consequences, and you decided to tell the story this way. So I think this is ultimately uh, and hopefully what, what what people will enjoy and beyond. Yeah, I think you you set the precedent with heavy rain, and I remember just after finishing it, talking with people, I'm like, wait, that happened to you? That I mean, how did that even come about? So I think that's that's uh, hopefully same same experience here with Beyond Two Souls. So I'm getting the the wrap up sign. Beyond Two Souls 2013, correct? Yep. All right. So we'll be looking forward to seeing you uh, your first uh, small screen, big screen debut. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know how we would phrase it, but yeah. uh, definitely going to be interesting to see uh, what you bring to the character. And, and I know people are very much looking forward to oh, it. So thanks. thanks for taking time to speak with us much. and have a good Comic-Con. Thank you. Thanks. thanks, you too.